Hi guys and welcome to Linux Ort. In this video I want to show you a few hints how you can improve your library office skills. For this video it is completely irrelevant if you are using Linux, Mac OS or Windows. Library office writer works the same on all machines. Let us come to the first only Linux hint, but this is also the last one in this video. Maybe on the other platforms this could also be helpful. At first, let us open up LibreOffice. If you start LibreOffice the first time, you get the tip of the day. This could help sometimes. So even if you click this small window away for the future, you can find all tip of the days, whether in the internet or in the help of LibreOffice. So I hit OK here and I would say, let's start with the first hint. And this is the icon set. On some systems, LibreOffice comes with a different icon set, which sometimes doesn't really fit in your workflow. And sometimes dark and light are switched. So let us get this right. For that, I open up tools and select options here. Here in options, you can select view and here you can select the icon theme. Here, the automatic Colibri icon theme is selected. This is great, but you can choose also a a dark version which you can also here turn to dark in appearance too and if I hit apply then we have a dark theme in LibreOffice which is also very cool but I go back with Colibri and light so here you can change your colors of LibreOffice. Also what I'm recommending to every one of you but it is up to you which workflow fits better for you is the ribbon user interface. We can change the user interface and the layout of the user interface by clicking to view then selecting user interface. Here in user interface you can switch between standard toolbar and tapped for example. I highly recommend the tapped here because you get much more functionality on LibreOffice right away presented. This is very cool. You can also choose some other UI variants. Just choose one and then whether select apply to writer or select apply to all. So also to calc, impress and so on. If you then miss the menu bar on the top, you can get the menu bar right back here by clicking clicking this icon here and then you get back your menu bar. This is very helpful if you, for example, follow some online tutorials. Let us assume you've wrote some text and you want to make a heading. Please don't do a heading by selecting the text here changing the font size to something bigger and then maybe for example hit the bold here and change the font for example to another one. I don't recommend you doing this. If you want to make some headings please use these master templates here for example heading one or heading two, heading three, because if you generate a PDF out of this or later a table of contents, it will get a lot easier. But if you want to change this appearance of this heading two, for example, you can, for example, go to styles here above and select edit style. And here you can now edit the paragraph style of heading two. You can also access this menu by opening up this right sidebar here and head over to styles. And here you can also edit the style by right clicking it and select edit style. Here you can adjust everything <laughs> from the font over the style itself, the size, transparency, alignment and so on and so on. So this could be very helpful and please format your text like this with these master templates. Also, if you want a right formatting for your library office, just select the whole text and select body text. I highly recommend you this because body text does some automatic paragraphs here. Like you see it, this looks very good. And if you want to change this default body text, for example, to use the block layout, you can just right click the body text here, select edit style and just do it to the alignment here justified it is called and we select apply and then this looks quite fine and you don't have to re-update your styles again. If you have a very big document, sometimes it could help to navigate through this very big document via a navigator. You can open up the navigator by pressing F5. Here we get a new window. 
very cool. Here we see the headings or we could navigate between tables, fields, footnotes and so on. In my case, this small document has only headings. So I can double click this heading uh, where I want to go to and I can jump to this. This is really useful and I just wrote a scientific work in LibreOffice and I didn't know this tip until today. So this could be very useful also for such things. Let us close the navigator again and let us come to the review tab, which we can see here. At the first, we can define if we want to toggle the auto spell check. We can see here, this is a artistic text, which says really nonsense. But if you don't want this automatic spell check, you can easily turn it off here. And then this looks quite good. And what a very cool feature of LibreOffice is, is the tracking of changes. So if you get a document and you want to review it, then you can use this review function by record. Then by hitting record, you can now create new lines. Hello world. You can, for example, change some words. This is changed. And here we see all these changes which were made by a review. So if you get the review back later, you can go between all these changes and you can whether accept and reject these changes if you want this. So we can select, okay, accept, head over to the next one, accept, head over to the next one, accept, for example, or we can also reject these changes. This is very helpful if you, for example, review some work on LibreOffice. This is also working for the spreadsheets, for example. So just turn off record again, and then let's head over to the next hint. The next hint is for the table of contents. We can very easily create a automatic table of contents by going to the first letter of the whole document, select insert, then we insert a page break. Here we get a complete new site, which yeah <laughs> has nothing at the current point of time. But if we head over to the references tab here, we can create a table of contents. So we can choose this here. We can choose the type. We can also add a table of figures, index of tables and so on. So I go to the table of contents. Here you can also define how many levels you want to include of your headings. So you probably don't want the heading seven to be included in the, your table of contents. Maybe if you want, then the setting is just fine. And then you can define the title, then select OK. And here we see the table of contents. Perfect. If you then want to create very fast your page numbers, you can head over to the footer here. Just click in the area of this footer and then press the plus sign here and then just write page. Then we need to insert some fields. You can do this by insert here and then select field page number. Then I can type in space and then for example, off, and then I can insert another field page count, for example. And here we see, yeah, the page count is now generated automatically. And of course we can center this in our home view, for example, and then, yeah, this looks okay for the first. If you now want to write formulas or special characters, you can insert many special characters. Sometimes your operating system also support this, but also LibreOffice can do this out of the box. You can select insert special characters here and then insert the hero sign, for example, the infinity sign, pi, but also almost all characters you can find. You can choose more characters here and then you can search. There are a lot of special characters and I guess there is also a special character for you, which you really want to use. You can even insert emojis by now. If you don't find your special character, just have a look to a Google search. For example, the Tada emoji and you can just copy this one and paste it into the text. This also looks good. It could also be very helpful using templates. So if you create a new document, like for example, a protocol every week or even daily, it could be very helpful to take your time once to create a very simple template. If you have a document which you want to save a template, just go to file and select save as template. Very easy. Here you can 
also select a my templates here and then we select easy table of contents document for example we select save here we can also set this as a default template for example but this is okay and then if you want to create a new document you can for example close this document inside LibreOffice. don't close the window up here just close the document and here we see recent documents but you can also choose one of your templates. There are also some default templates here. For example, a modern business letter, just select it. And then for example, the date is also automatically filled. And then you can, for example, remove the placeholder and type in something useful here. But of course it is also no problem, for example, to put your logo in here and to save this letter again as a template. This also works. So it's very easy nowadays creating letters or some other documents and just try to use this template function more. This could save a lot of time. I also did a separate video just for letters. Just look into the video description if you want to dive deeper in this letter topic. Let us get to a next tip which many users don't know this site exists. Let's have a look to extensions libreoffice.org. Here you find many extensions with which you can enhance your LibreOffice. For example, special dictionaries, special templates, of course, for a perpetual calendar, creating barcodes, also an AI assistant with JetGPT, or for example, some icon themes. If you want, for example, use the Ubuntu icon theme on other systems too. Just have a look. There could be also useful stuff for you. If you want to install, for example, the TechMath extensions, just head over to download, then download latest. Then here we see the OXT file and we can just double click this and by default LibreOffice opens up with the extensions menu and we see here, okay, we are about to install the extension. You should only do this if you trust the extension, then select OK and uh, then this is installed. Great. Then now you only have to restart LibreOffice now and then you can do some TechMath equations, for example. Very handy. If you want to disable this, just head over to Tools, then Extensions and then, for example, hit disable and remove. This was it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you even know some more useful tips for LibreOffice, just write it me into the comments. And if you want to see another video about LibreOffice, for example, sending emails to many recipients at once, also write it me into the comments and then we are doing such a video in the future. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your next LibreOffice documents. Bye.